So I think talking to yourself is a really underrated thing, a really helpful thing. I haven't always done it. I kind of started doing it. I've been doing it a lot more recently. Um, I never did because I thought, well, whatever it is, I'm, I, I don't mean out loud, by the way, in my case, although it's fine to do that as well, I guess. I would just feel a bit weird doing that. But on some level, you feel self-conscious or stupid doing it because you think, whatever I'm saying to myself, I already know it. So why am I saying it, right? Um, that's how I always felt anyway. But there's something to be said for having it put... In, in, in the forefront of your mind in concrete terms so you can kind of know somewhere in the sort of murkiness of your mind like okay this situation isn't too bad it'll get better it'll pass eventually you kind of know that but that's just swimming around with all your other thoughts it's just in there and it's kind of a mess and it's just going to kind of float away into the fog of your brain and you won't really have a sort of prominent awareness of it. But if you say to yourself in your head, during a situation, you say like, this will be fine, it's not a big deal, this situation will pass soon, it's okay, don't get too stressed about it. You've just like written it down. You've just uh, showed yourself it on a piece of paper. It's as though somebody else has said it to you. It has like an echo, it has a reverberation. That thought actually lasts some degree of time you know um and will will do something for you it won't just be forgotten instantly there's a lot of research about uh for example things that you're worrying about if you write them down you you worry a lot less because you you feel that it's written somewhere so kind of being dealt with some action has been taken um, knowing something deep down in the sort of like murky recesses of your mind that's not taking an action but saying a sentence to yourself in your head clearly is that is a form of action and it gives you the feeling of having dealt with this thing in some way um, it's really good and the more recently I've been reading like stoic philosophy and stuff I've uh, I found it very useful to, to, yeah, I mean, just to say those types of things to myself in my head. Um, it's really powerful. It really is. Like, it's uh, it's kind of more powerful than you can imagine. I've, I've had times, you know, situations have arisen where I have a sort of, oi, stop it. I have a sort of uh, bodily stress kind of reaction to something. And just saying something like that in my head really helps to... Uh, to like calm it down I think it's a really good way to organize your thoughts and to also promote a kind of relationship with yourself that's quite positive like uh, like like your conscious mind being a person that kind of looks out for and supports and encourages the kind of uh, the kind of chimpanzee version of you you know who's not really capable of that level of thought the kind of uh, lizard brain as it were sort of person that is not really not really able to take the time to have those thoughts the one that's more just reactionary or reactive or uh, or just gets emotional about things or gets stressed or whatever uh, it's um, it's a good way to foster a positive relationship between those kind of two separate parts of your mind so uh, I think it's a really good thing to try and get into the habit of doing and uh, and to, to have things that you say to yourself at certain times that help you in certain ways it's a really good way to reaffirm the best parts of your own kind of philosophy on life to yourself give it a go